The rugged landscapes of Wales, with their rolling hills and ancient castles, hold more than just scenic beauty. They are the keepers of a genetic legacy that stretches back thousands of years. In this exploration, we will unravel the fascinating story of Welsh DNA, a tale that intertwines prehistoric settlers, Celtic heritage, geographic isolation, and the resilience of a proud nation. The genetic story of Wales begins with its earliest inhabitants. Mesolithic hunter-gatherers arrived after the last Ice Age around 11,000 years ago, leaving a lasting mark on the Welsh gene pool. Around 4,500 years ago, the Bell Beaker culture spread across Europe, reaching Britain and Wales. This culture introduced new technologies, particularly in metalworking, along with new genetic lineages. A groundbreaking 2018 study published in Nature revealed that the arrival of Beaker people led to a significant genetic shift across Britain with up to 90% replacement of the gene pool in some areas. In Wales, while the impact was less dramatic due to its geographic isolation, it was still substantial. The study estimated that Beaker-associated genetics account for about 25-40% to 40 of the modern Welsh gene pool, lower than in England, but still significant. The Bell Beaker culture originated in the Iberian Peninsula around 2800 BC and reached Wales by about 2400 BC. As they expanded, they interacted and mixed with steppe populations from modern-day Ukraine and Russia, leading to significant genetic and cultural exchanges that shaped the makeup of many European populations. The name Bell Beaker comes from their distinctive bell-shaped pottery vessels, often found in burial sites and believed to have been used for drinking. Beaker individuals were typically taller and more robust than the earlier Anatolian farmers, with lighter skin and a higher frequency of light-coloured eyes, including blue and green, though brown eyes remained common. About 1,400 years after the arrival of the Beaker culture, the Celtic people reached Britain around 1000 BC further altering the genetic landscape of Wales. The Celts were not a single unified group, but rather a collection of tribes sharing similar languages, beliefs and cultural practices. They likely originated in Central Europe, in the area around modern-day Austria and Switzerland, before spreading across much of Europe, including the modern-day United Kingdom and Ireland. The Celts were known for their skilled metalwork, distinctive art styles and complex social structures. They spoke Celtic languages, which evolved into modern Welsh, Irish and Scottish Gaelic, among others. Their influence on British culture was profound, shaping everything from place names to folklore. The Celtic influence is particularly evident in the Y chromosome patterns of modern Welsh men. A specific genetic marker called R1BL21, strongly associated with Celtic ancestry, is extremely common in Wales. A 2012 study found that over 70% of Welsh men carry this marker, one of the highest concentrations in the world. This genetic legacy links the Welsh population closely with other Celtic groups like the Irish and Scots. The Roman conquest of Wales, beginning around AD 48, lasted for over 300 years. However, genetic studies suggest that the Roman occupation had minimal impact on the Welsh gene pool. This resilience in the face of occupation highlights the strength of Celtic cultural identity and the geographic barriers that limited genetic admixture. The Anglo-Saxon invasion, which began in the 5th century AD, had a profound impact on the genetic landscape of Britain, but its effect on Wales was notably different. A 2015 study of people in the British Isles found that while some eastern parts of England derive up to 40% of their ancestry from Anglo-Saxon migrations, the impact in Wales was much smaller. However, a 2016 study found evidence of varying degrees of Anglo-Saxon admixture in different parts of Wales, particularly in border regions. Viking influence on Welsh genetics, while present, was relatively minimal. A 2005 study found that Norse Viking ancestry accounts for about 1-3% to of paternal lineages in Wales, primarily in coastal areas and the Isle of Anglesey. This contrasts with higher percentages in other parts of the British Isles. 
The Norman conquest of 1066 had a comparatively limited genetic impact on Wales. A study in 2003 estimated that Norman genetic influence in Wales is generally below 5% compared to higher percentages in England. The Industrial Revolution brought significant changes to Wales, including internal migrations from rural areas to new industrial centres. This period also saw an influx of people from other parts of Britain and abroad, introducing new genetic lineages. In the 20th and 21st centuries, immigration has further contributed to Wales' genetic diversity, though to a lesser extent than in many parts of England. Wales' mountainous terrain has played a crucial role in shaping its genetic landscape. Not only did it serve as a barrier against invasions, but it also limited internal movement, leading to genetic continuity within regions. The people of the British Isles study revealed fine-scale genetic structures within Wales itself, highlighting the impact of geographic isolation. The persistence of the Welsh language, one of the oldest in Europe, has also played a role in maintaining genetic distinctiveness. Language barriers may have influenced marriage patterns, limiting gene flow between Welsh-speaking communities and their English-speaking neighbours. As we conclude our journey through the fascinating world of Welsh genetics, we uncover a rich tapestry woven from history, geography and culture. We've included links to the research mentioned in this video in the description below, so feel free to explore further. We'd love to hear from you. Do you have Welsh ancestry? Have you uncovered any surprising details about your genetic heritage? Share your experiences in the comments section below. If you found this video enlightening, please give it a thumbs up and share it with others who might be interested. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you won't miss our future explorations into genetics and history. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the genetic and cultural landscape of Wales. Until next time.